so we have interesting stuff to talk about today. Let's just introduce ourselves real quickly. Mm-hmm. I'm Catherine, and this is Meg, my co-host. I'm Catherine May, and I'm the one who wrote the book, Who Needs Light? And my website is whoneedslight.org. And I'll let you tell about the Facebook pages. Um, All right, Meg, super. We have interesting stuff going on today. Oh, my goodness, yes. Thanks. So our Facebook page, we have two pages, um, Healing for Ascension Tour, run and um, kept going by our beloved Gabriella and her amazing administration team, which just keeps our vibration so high. And from there, if you sign up, you'll get the post that Catherine brings through the messages. And if you'd like to be a little, little bit more intimate and get to know each other a little bit more and join a family of really high vibrational um, seekers and light workers who are doing this work all around the world, you can join Healing for Ascension Tour group. And there we post our personal stories and we share and celebrate where we are in the process of ascension and, and really are able to do some real work in the master class of of attaining the highest vibrations and working with the messages on uh, group work and sharing ideas about how to implement the challenges and the suggestions that are brought through from our masters to help us raise our vibration and help raise the vibration of the planet as well as clean up Terra and assist the galactics and all that they're doing to help us, which is so relevant today because we got such a message from Lady Portia in the middle of the night. They were really working to Catherine, and uh, we saw this beautiful meditation that Lady Portia asked us to join together in doing. And the Facebook page just went crazy with these amazing posts from all the members about ways to heal the planet. There were clean water links. There were meditations. There were um, a wonderful post from Rebecca about five ways to tell that the New Age is happening with the end of Big Pharma and the end of pollutions and toxins and just great news traveling all over the Facebook page. So if you haven't joined and you need a boost morale because where you sit looks grim. Join the Facebook page because there is such good news to be had when we join forces and share news from around the world that you won't see on your main TV screen. So just great news. So today I've asked our loving Healing for Ascension Tour family member, Diane Marr, who lives in Portugal. Don't you love it? Mm, that we are brought together around the world. Now, (laughs) Diane grew up in the U.S., so when I called her up, I went, I was expecting a Portuguese accent, and she just laughed. And she goes, (laughs) I know, I speak Portuguese, but I still sound American. So Diane is going to lead us in a meditation today that was initiated from Lady Portia's message brought through Catherine yesterday at... 11 after the hour. Do you mind, Catherine, if I talk about that meditation? Mm, Go ahead. Okay, so here Adept, um, who is just a big member, a big poster of our, on our Healing for Ascension tour group, and such a light worker, beautiful career, and bringing news and helping people be aware of the changes, started this post to help flip the domino for the global currency reset and all the wonderful changes with the RV and the coming global era. And she asked Body at 11 after each hour to send a blast of love um, around the globe to help energize all of these wonderful changes taking place. And her post has almost had a 1,000 comments. So people are really joining together And wherever they are in the world, they're looking at their clocks and they're just sending love around the globe. 
And as we heard from Lady Portia today, they can't do anything without us taking the first step. And then whatever we do, they just blow wind through our sails and multiply it. But we need Mm -hmm. to do the first step. So this is brilliant because here this group has been going strong for almost 10 days. They started on September 18th and just generating all of this energy and it gets multiplied by the company of heaven, manifest. And here we come today with Lady Portia's request and we're going to ask Diane to join in and lead us in this meditation and visualization to bring through what Lady Portia asked us to do, which was help send energy to Tara's ocean to return her to a pristine, clean condition, and then also to invoke the violet flame to nullify and clear away all toxic waste from nuclear weapons and power plants around the world. So there you go. Catherine, I'll hand it back to you before we go into our meditation. Oh, okay. I want to add, the well, you're keeping... Uh, tabs on the time, right? Because we want to yep, start yep, at mm-hmm. 211. Okay. Mm-hmm. I love the comment in the post about we're not allowed to be offsides. And I think that just so clearly expressed what they've been trying to tell us all along. We have to carry the ball. They're not going to do it for us. And they've been saying that all along, but this made it really clear. Here are the rules. They're not allowed to go in front of us. So we have to be the ones who are carrying the banner, doing the work, making the, envisioning the end product, and then they can help us. And she made a point of saying the nuclear waste problem was on the way to be solved, and then everybody stopped because they thought it was finished. So we need to get on it again and do this meditation and finish the cleanup. And then they can, our galactic brothers and sisters, can come in with their technology and help us. But they can't do it without our specifically asking. So how is that for two minutes? Let's bring Diane on. Here we go. Yes, I'm going to open up the line. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Hi, thank you very much. Hi, are you ready Hi, to Dr. lead Catherine. us? Yes, Hi, I am. Diane. You ready to lead um, us? Meditation? Yes. yes. Uh huh. I just want to thank Meg for this opportunity. Um, this morning, as I was reading the message, I was um, nudged <laughs> to compile the information and to post it up as a meditation. So, thank you. I'm excited, but a little bit nervous, so bear with me. (laughs) Oh, sure. Of course. (laughs) All right, Diane. We are ready, and we're centering, and we are calling in the beautiful pillar of light that Gabriella has got surrounding us, so we're ready. Take it away. Mm, She's on it. Okay, let's go. So let's take a deep breath in and begin by visual centering. This is how I begin to ground and connect. We now see this pillar of light going up into the heavens and connecting to heaven. We ask the universe to please send us the energies of divine love and divine light. We can see this energy coming down as a pink light representing the energy of love and with sparkles, shimmering sparkles as, as diamonds coming down representing divine light. Comes in through our crown chakra and as it enters the crown chakra into our pineal gland we see this light coming in and turning our cells into complete light. 
the light comes into our heart center and passes down through our chakras, opening, clearing, and activating each one of our chakras. At the base chakra, we can see a tube of light going down, connecting to the center of Mother Earth. And we ask that Mother Gaia send us healing energy. So we see this healing energy, which is green, coming up and into our hearts. So now we have the energy of love, the energy of light, and also healing energy in our hearts. We are now grounded and connected. Universe, we set the intention that our energies Join those of Lady Portia, St. Germain, Sananda, all other Ascended Masters, Ashtar and his command, our brothers and sisters from across the galaxy, and all other beings of light assisting us. We ask St. Germain to bring the violet flame into our hearts and we expand it out more and more until it englobes our beloved Mother Tara. Violet flame, we ask you to nullify and clear away all toxic waste from nuclear weapons and power plants around the world. Clear and heal the oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, as well as Gaia's land affected by Fukushima and other and the power plants or nuclear weapons. Restore these to their pristine condition. Heal all animals and living beings affected by this as well as speed the decommissioning of the currently operating nuclear plants around the world, those under construction and those approved for construction. Now, visualize the energy of love in our hearts, expanding out more and more until our planet is completely englobed with our love. Universe, we send a powerful blast of love energy across the planet, flooding our beloved Gaia with the passionate intention to heal and clear away all destructive energies and residues of dark ideas and actions. We now envision the world of our dreams, a world with only the best organic healthy foods, a world where all animals are living freely amongst us as our friends, and as our equals. And all living beings on Gaia are living from the light and of the light. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And so it is. It is done. It is done. It is done. Diane, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that was just perfect. Oh, thank you. Just perfect. Thank you. Oh, you got everything in. It felt the pace was just lovely. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Mm. Thank you, Lady Portia, for the message. 
Yes. Yes. Oh, I love the message um, because it really encompassed everything, and your your meditation continued that. It's it was just great. So we are cleaning up the entire planet, and we are going to do it with our own actions and our own intentions, and we welcome the help of our galactic brothers and sisters, but we're not going to say, you have to come and do it for us. We're saying, we are going to do it, and we welcome your help. So be it. So be it. Diane, blessings. Thank you so much. And uh, what a sacred thing to bring. Your heart was so felt. Thanks again. Yes, thank you. And if anybody hasn't read the message yet, please do. It's called You Carry the Ball. And I laughed when I got the title (laughs) because I wasn't sure whether it was You Carry the Ball (laughs) or You Carry the Ball. (laughs) It means both, of course. (laughs) So it was a directive and a congratulations, but it's really important that all of us get involved. And people are always asking me, you know, how do I find out what my path is? Well, here it is, folks. We've just been told. This is our path to heal the planet and to put our energies behind making that happen. And I love how she said, um, you you vote with everything you do for whether you're going to support the cabal or not. And if you're super conscious of every penny you spend, every action you take, you'll see that there are a lot of places where you're still supporting the cabal. If you're eating food that's not organic, you're supporting the cabal. Because any food that isn't organic means it's covered with pesticides. And pesticides are the invention of the cabal, designed to make us all sick. So even the smallest things, if you bring your groceries home in a plastic bag, you're supporting the cabal. If you um, are not conscious of what you drive, where you drive, how you drive, you're supporting the cabal. So there, the possibilities are just everywhere. If you're eating packaged food, you're supporting the cabal. So she really laid it out. I don't remember ever hearing it quite so um clearly and definitively yes. this is to you mhm if you're not taking care of your body you're supporting the cabal if you're not loving yourself you're supporting the cabal mm-hmm. so no more complaining that the cabal is still around that there are people still thinking those old dark thoughts and creating destruction. Well, we're we're feeding it. So we stop feeding it, it dies out immediately. I bet it would be a matter of weeks. If everyone on this call is really rigorous, really dedicated to being 100% clean, I'll bet you that we will see the effects in a matter of weeks. Mm -hmm. Besides, everybody's going to be healthy. And we're all going to celebrate together. Everyone's going to be dancing. (laughs) (laughs) It was, so, Catherine. I had... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. I was just going to turn it uh, over to you. Oh, well, thank you. 
I did. And, you know, I think probably because of, you know, my my choice of profession, I've had to look at these things for a while. And so I really appreciated a new line in the sand for me to pick up on a call that Sananda did for us about a month ago. He drew a line in the sand and said, this is self-love and you're on my side. Let's go. And this was a new line in the sand. And I almost leapt up from my chair. I ran in the kitchen and I said, okay, Lady Portia, we're on it. Let me see my kitchen through your eyes and let's do this next level. Let's be done. And I opened up my refrigerator and I still drink coffee and I saw some soy milk, which is in a box. And I said, I'm making my own soy milk. And I went and looked up a recipe, <laughs> and I'm making my own soy milk from fresh, organic soybeans and water. Oh! And, and then the next thing I saw was the um, coffee uh, plastic container that I'm now bringing that container and filling it with fresh beans, even though it's organic, it's not fresh bean organic. I'm like, I'm cutting the beans in this, and I'm bringing my container to the store. One mm-hmm. after another after another, I just went and made a list. And there was 20 things I could still do, and I was just in my kitchen. And I went, oh, my gosh, this is going to get good. So I Great. was just so grateful and I read it, I ran across an amazing post about a year ago with a woman who is a yoga instructor. And she made a vow with Mother Earth to eliminate her footprint. We've all heard that word. Right. right? Eliminate your footprint. And she said, I will carry around on me daily any trash that I generate for a <laughs> year. <gasps> and wow. she did it. And she journaled it, and she took pictures of her trash bag. And it was just a cloth bag. And she watched it get full. But I said, all right, Meg, if you had to carry around your trash, what choices would you be making to not lug around 300 pounds of trash? <laughs> and I went... Okay, I'm on it. (laughs) So it's wonderful, and I've never, like you said, heard it that clear to make a new, a new pair of eyes come out of my head. So thank you, Lady (laughs) Portia, and we're on it. Bravo. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a great idea. Carry your trash around with you. I love it. We're lucky here. We have. a co-op where you can take your own bags, and we also have a compost, so we can put the all the garden, all the food uh, residue in the compost. So we should be able to accomplish that easily. So let's. I also want you to tell people about your new manual. We're really excited about this. Oh yes. So. Yesterday was my 49th birthday, and I made a joke on the beautiful message that Christine put out saying happy birthday, and I just have to say thank you a thousand times because the messages were so heartfelt and so filled with gratitude and sweetness that a thank you to everybody who either thought happy birthday or posted. (laughs) So thank you. (laughs) And... I um, I posted on there, I said, you know you love what you do when you're sitting in your living room on your birthday creating the Ascension Nutrition Guide <laughs> with the Master. So I chuckled at myself, but this is how much I adore what I do, and I'm so grateful. So I sat in my home, and I brought together... And I called in the masters and all the company of heaven. I said, okay, I really want to give people the best, easiest guide to read so they will be able to follow 
your suggestions and really help reverse disease once and for all. I can't ask anybody just to give up all of their pharmacology without an equal solution on the other side. So let's do it. And so we sat down and I just pulled every piece of knowledge I had in my head along with everything they put in there. And we created a document that I hope is going to be really a help for everybody on where to start, what foods to eat, how to prepare them, and bringing in the spiritual piece of nutrition, which is the environment in which we eat, which is a new piece that I haven't really talked about much, which is the environment with which we eat actually physically changes the rate of absorption of our nutrition. Mm. So there was a study that came out that said if you watch the evening news while you eat dinner, you are moving into the fight-or-flight nervous system, which Mm -hmm. moves the blood away from your abdominal organs, your digestive organs, into your muscles, and Mm -hmm. it lowers your ability to absorb your nutrients. And I went, oh, my gosh, look at that. So I added a piece that helped me as well. Help us look with new eyes on where we eat, who we eat with, what we talk about, if anything, during our meals, what is the vibration of the place we eat, the people we're with, not only the vibration of the food, but also this other level. And they nudged me to add this piece because it does affect the ability of our cells to absorb the nutrients. So heaven forbid we spend all this time on going through and cleaning up our diet only to have it jeopardized because we're eating with somebody who's a grump junk <laughs> and <it's> affecting my <laughs> nutrition. So, and so Brilliant. there's a piece, in, a piece in there too. And they were happy to just put that right in my head. And so <laughs> we're putting the last finishing touches on this I'm calling it the Ascension Nutrition Guide by the Company of Heaven. And we're going to post it um, later today or tomorrow right on the Healing for Ascension Tour group page as a post as well as on the file section so you can download it as a PDF right to your computer and print it. And I want all the feedback that you can muster to how we can either improve it or what your... Um, any obstacles that you see are in your way, and we can just together whisk them away and help you solve that. And then also what successes you're having with making these changes. And together we're going to be able to master this food piece and be ready for the next level, Mm -hmm. the next challenge after this is done. So I'm so excited and um, grateful to all the people that went into creating this and Looking forward to everybody's feedback and on how we're doing with it. Thanks, Catherine. Oh, that's just great, Meg. Um, I we hadn't talked about this. I love the piece about being in a, a state where you go into a fight or flight response. And I've talked about this too about what happens when you go into a flight or fight is that your stomach acid stops working and the energy all goes to your limbs because you need to run or you know do whatever you have to do so our digestion shuts down when you go into a fight or flight response to say nothing of the you know effect on your hormones but Mm -hmm. it's literally a one-to-one relationship if you're having an unpleasant time when you're eating you're not going to digest the food properly Maybe not for hours. So whatever happens, don't have a fight with your partner when you're eating dinner. And and don't watch the news, like you said. (laughs) Yeah, be around people who will nurture you and love you so that you're both having a loving, wonderful time. 
when you sit down to dinner, or all of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So dinner time should be a celebration, um, a time of really loving being together, feeling nurtured and supported and warm and happy. So that's another inspiration, isn't it? Yeah. To make sure that's what your life is really like. Thank you so much, Meg. I can't wait to read this. Mm-hmm. I am really excited about it. Can't wait to have our internet back on so I can come see it. So it'll be on the group page. Can that also be on the tour page? I will show Absolutely. I'll give it to Gabriella and she'll put it right on there. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. So it will be available for everyone. They can go and read it. They can go print it out, right? And then we yep. we will also make it a part of our uh, group of books and pamphlets and things to read that we're going to put out as e-books and also in book form. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to have our own publishing company because we have now several books and your your manual and Sananda's new scriptures. So we're going to have a lot of things in print because it's always nice to have it, the real thing in your hand. I know a lot of people are going to want this one. So we're on it. This is going to happen soon. I think everything's going to change. We're getting new assignments. We're getting, um, I think, after the RV, that I probably won't be doing a message every day. I have this really clear feeling that my run as um, the most (laughs) prolific channel (laughs) is probably going to come somehow to an end. Not, Not that I will stop channeling, but that I won't be doing it every day. There will be something of, you know, some other things that we're going to be doing, including running workshops, um, maybe traveling. 